you and you know last time we were in our create a sim demo we made lily and tate to prepare them for the sims 4 launching into the adventure next month but this suggestion i just couldn't pass up it was to make major calhoun and her husband captain kaz the cats that run our feline security team in our minecraft modded zoo crafting series and lots and lots of their kittens <laughs> So I thought that was excellent. I haven't really messed with the children yet, and so why not? So today we're gonna make Major Calhoun, who is in charge of the entire security team in our zoo crafting world, and she is gonna be... Well, I actually really like kind of the sim, the look of the sim who we randomized. So we're gonna work with her, and you know, we actually don't have... Well, Calhoun... Hmm, Kitty. What about Kitty, just to be ironic? Kitty Calhoun. Uh... And for those of you who don't know, let's see, Calhoun? Yeah, I think that's how you spell it. For those of you who don't know, Major Calhoun is named after the Wreck-It Ralph character, Major Calhoun. Uh, she was really, really cool. I loved her, so we added her in. But there we go. So Kitty Calhoun, she's actually going to be kind of military and active-minded, which means we're going to give her a really fit body. <laughs> for mold. Oh yeah, there you go. But you know, some curves aren't so bad. Especially, I kind of like, because the idea is that she's had a lot of kids. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, I'm not allergic to cats, I swear. And so we're going to make her and her mate, and we're going to give them some kids, because I actually haven't even looked at the children yet inside of the Create a Sim demo. And I think it'll be really fun to have this family to play as well, because I don't think Lily and Tate will be finding mates and settling down and having their own kids for a little bit, because they're going to be a little bit busy uh, helping collect and explore the world. So this will be a great way to jump straight into the kid-focused side of things, which I really love. For me, the Sim series has always been um, a family-building experience, so it'll be really great to do that. Now let's see, hmm, I kind of like her face. Let's go with outfit first. Sometimes it's easier for me if we start with the outfit. Are there any full body? Let's see, maybe she's going to be super muscly. Uh, mm -hmm. I like how it, the more the more fat you add, the muscles are still there. They're just hiding because that's true in real life too. Yeah, I think that's a little more what Major Calhoun would be like, but definitely not this outfit. So we need to find a new full body outfit for her. I really don't see her in a dress, though. I see her in something kind of kind of hardcore. Oh, that's actually really cool. What do you think of that, that, Major Calhoun? Oh, yeah, I forget. You know, I really do forget you can get in here. And you can seriously move like all the bits and pieces of your sims in all sorts of directions. So we're going to give her a little bit of a waist, but not that tiny of a waist. Because she's had a lot of kidlets, a lot of kittens. There we go. Yeah, this is really nice. Let's see. Lift them up a little bit. Lift them up, Major. There you go, Major. I wonder, you know, I haven't really seen a lot about the jobs. I know there aren't that many jobs in The Sims 4 as have been in some of the other series, so it's going to be interesting to see if we're going to have jobs for our major that have anything to do with, um, anything to do with the army or anything to do with the military or police and things like that. I just found out today that there's not going to be any firefighters in the game, which kind of confuses me a little bit. I mean, how can you get away with no firefighters? Sims are always lighting themselves on fire. That could end very badly. And there's also not going to be any family trees, which really disappoints me. So we're going to have to see uh, what we're going to do about that. Oh my gosh, look at those boots. Oh yeah. <laughs> she has to wear these boots. That's just, that's too awesome. What color? Let's see. Yeah, we'll go with these. Major, you're going to be amazing. Let's see. Maybe a little bit more. You've had a lot of kittens after all. We don't want to make you too thin. One of the things I do love about this version of the game is that the Sims are going to have some fantastic diversity just to the way that you can make the shapes. And, you know, some people have said that the cartoony look that they kind of have, I don't really see it as much of a cartoony look. Oddly enough to me, this is less cartoony than The Sims 3 was to me. Uh, and it's more stylized, and I actually really enjoy the style so far, so we'll have to see how that goes. Now, let's see. Major Calhoun and Wreck-It Ralph had very distinct features, um, and I don't think we're gonna make... I kind of want this Major Calhoun to look a little bit like her, but not 
super super much because she's going to be a little more curvy a little bit a little bit more fat kind of hanging around the hips because she's had a lot of kids not sure how many kids but we've had a lot of kittens in the zoo and I haven't I can't remember what we've named all of them so I will pull up our list of names in just a moment there you go major Nice, there's just so many details and so many pieces that you can edit about them. Now, Major, I've actually got... I'm just going to end up calling her Major the whole time, instead of Kitty. I've actually got a little bit of a mental image for, but the one I don't have any mental image for is actually her mate. I don't even have a clue what Captain Kaz would look like. Oh, that's adorable on her, actually. I love that nose on her. There you go, Major. Let's see eyebrows in the right space. Let's shrink the nose down just a little bit. She's based off of a black and white tuxedo cat, but for some reason this look is just looking really good for her. I bet if there was a tabby cat available in our in our game, in our Minecraft game, that it would have been what Major would have been. Nice, nice. That's not too bad. Yeah, I don't tend to fiddle too much. <laughs> we'll see what other, other color hair and things she might have been able to have. That'll be for when you're an old cat, Major. An old cat indeed. Let's see, black hair. The brown hair just really fits her. Not bad. Well, let's see what other outfits we can snag. Formal. Hmm. Formal. Are these all of the options for formal? There's, there's like no pants or anything? Can we wear pants? Oh, yeah, we can. Well, nope. Uh, pants? Aww. So formal bottoms, we just have the choice of some skirts. Formal tops. Let's see, so full body. I could see her in something like this. Yep, I could definitely see her in something like this. Not something pink though. I don't think she'd be in something pink. Something black, most likely. What about down here? I really haven't explored that much inside of the creative sim. I know some people have been making, oh my gosh, the studs. I could see her having those. Yep. Let's see. Ooh. Hmm. What color to go with? Yeah, some people have been churning out absolutely kick butt amazing sims. Uh, the diversity of what people can make just stuns me. It's really cool to see that. Athletic, let's see. Randomize. Not bad, not bad. Colors and things. I have a feeling she'll be at the gym like all the time. And she'll probably be dragging her kids like to the park all the time, to the gym, to work out, stuff like that. There we go, Major. Nice, see, so this is more what I, I think she'd look like. Very sportsy. Very athletically minded. These are cute shoes, actually. <laughs> but yeah, some people have been turning out sims that just make my jaw drop. Basically, it seems like with this editor, any kind of design that you think of, you can make happen. Probably not any kind, but I've seen some amazing recreations of some more popular characters. I think we're going to shrink her neck just a tiny bit. There, now you're more proportional, Major. Alright, let's grab some sleepwear for her. <laughs> Is that what you want to wear? Is that what you want to wear, Major? Nice fluffy robe. I can get behind it. You know, sometimes you just want to sit in a nice fluffy robe at the end of a long day. Hmm. I think we'll make the robe a different color, though. What do you want? Let's see. The red, the blue, the gray. She's very monochromatic about her colors, so I think the gray. And then a party, a party outfit. Ooh, nice! I love the random button for putting on new clothes on The Sims. Boom, 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 boom. And you can just jump around till you find something that looks pretty good. And you don't have to do it yourself. That's so cool. I wonder if that'll work when we have CC in here. CC stands for custom content. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the term, it means modded stuff that the community makes and you throw in to make your game even better. There you go. I have a feeling she'd wear boots to a formal party thing. She's keeping those boots. That's awesome. All right, there you go, Major. Pretty happy with how you're turning out. We're not going to spend too much time fiddling with her appearance because really, I'm pretty happy with it. I like the way she looks. 
it's unexpected, but she's going to have a huge family. Now, what does she love, you think? I think she's athletic. Definitely, definitely kind of an athletic bodybuilder type. I'll be happy if we can see some more expansion for the athletic if aspiration in the future, too. So athletic, bonus trait, high metabolism. It is easier to stay fit and trim when you have high metabolism. And then bodybuilder. This sim wants to work out and become as strong as they can be. Sounds like her. She wants to be a good at uh, defending and taking care of everybody. Now, what would some of her traits be? Self-assured? <laughs> that sounds like what she could be. Um, she's definitely not lazy. Ambitious is the wrong term. Not materialistic. Let's see, what does bro do? Eh. I think that she definitely... I, th I think she's, she loves children. Because she loves her kittens. Good. I think she's good. <laughs> That's such a funny little, an little animation there. Because she do has protected the zoo for quite a long time. Um, I don't really see her being as family oriented as maybe her mate is. Neat, perhaps? Yep, I think she'd be neat, tidy, focused. Just very, very focused woman all together. Alright, so let's add in... A brand new sim, and this time we're going to be adding in, let's see, so this is Kaz, and this, well, you can just name him Kaz Calhoun. Now let's hit the random button a few times till we come Hello up with crap. something. Oh. Kaz, is that you? I don't think that's you. Hey, nope. Palinga. Nope. Bopsani. Skimbo Maybe. Actually, I think that could be Kaz. I just think that might be him. Because he's going to have to be fit and pretty focused on working out and stuff like that. Because he's also on the security team. I have the feeling that they met after training. So they actually met uh, and it became mates after they got their jobs. And then they had all these kittens together. We found them in the jungle together for those of you who follow the Minecraft series. Alright, so let's change up this top a little bit. Mm, nope, nope. We might go back to the other one. This might just be like a really athletic fit family, and so it'll be really cool to see how their kids are going to be so different from them. Alright, where'd that shirt go that he had in the beginning? Because that actually was the best for him. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if we can get a good variety of that one. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I was thinking of making him really, really different, but now that we're actually in here, I think that he would end up... Let's see... I was a pretty, a pretty tough bodybuilder sim too. Hmm. Yeah, so let's see, let's crank up the- Whoa, holy moly! Talk about unrealistic muscles, let's shrink some of this down a little bit. Eh, easy there, Kaz. I want you to be muscly, but let's tone it down just a teensy bit. That's more realistic to me than like, bram! Alright, especially because I get the feeling that he helps to take care of the kids a lot too. There we go. So actually, I'm pretty pleased with this outfit. I don't tend to fiddle too too much with it. Actually, I'm pretty pleased with that too. <laughs> That's your athletic gear. <laughs> I'm taking your earrings off, dude. You don't. You don't. You can't go in the army with like those earrings in. Are you nuts? And then let's get him some different sleep top, sleep gear. There we go. And we'll make sure his eyes are a fun color too. There we go, much better. And then this is his party outfit. You guys are really, they're very official. That's the, the vibe I'm getting from them. Let's see, what about? Life of the party there, dude, life of the party. That's better. All right, where's some socks? Where are your socks hiding? There's the socks. What? What do you mean he can't wear socks with his shoes when he's wearing a party outfit? That's just silly. I kind of like his shirt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like it? I like it. Alright. Good. He doesn't have those earrings in. Except when he is working out. That is not how it's going, dude. We're, we're taking them off. Because you're going to get hurt. Alright. Wait. That's better. So there's two different places for accessories. One is up here, and then when you want to take it off, in the old games you used to just click on it, but in this one you have to click the little X. There we go, and then we're going to give him 
Green eyes. No, green eyes, not green skin. Undo button. Ah, oh, the undo button to the rescue again. That's very, very, very useful. All right, and then we need eye detail. You have very tiny eyes. I want to enlarge your pupils just a little bit. Then, eh, eh. just a little bit, so I can actually see your expression. I don't know. Actually, he looks pretty good like that too. Cause, yeah, look at you. I can live with this. I can live with this randomly generated sim. There we go. And then let's pop back. Let's see the hair. I think the hair actually fits him too. Not bad. Not bad for being so so abrupt. There. That's better. Hmm. Now what would we give him? I don't think he'd have athletic. Definitely not deviance. Not knowledge or nature. Family maybe? Successful lineage. This sim wants to have a family that succeeds in life. Big happy family. This sim wants to build a large loving household. That sounds like them. And then for his traits, I'm surprised there's not like... Well, there is the active trait. So actually, I'm going to switch her self-assured trait to active. So all of the kittens are going to have two super hyperactive parents who are really into like working out and keeping healthy and things like that. Let's see. I'm going to say he loves the outdoors and he's family oriented. There we go. And let's swap some of her traits around. So we're going to take out the self-assured, put in the active. Oh, Major Calhoun, you look awesome. And then, let's see, yeah, neat, active, good. Yep, family oriented, loves the outdoors, active. I think I want to make her family oriented too, though. So we'll drop that one and put family oriented. And there we go. And now you know what we can do? We can actually add in some family. Oh wow, she's cute. This would be if Kitty had um, a sibling and we don't want to actually make a sibling. In fact, I think I need to edit their relationship. How do I do that? Hmm. I don't want to delete them. What I want to do, I don't want to open the gallery. I want to change the relationship that those two have. Play with genetics. And I want, oh wow, that's kind of frightening. Oh, over here, edit relationships. And we want to change this to her husband. There we go. And then you can come in here, play yes, with genetics. And we want, oh, we can't play with the kids yet. Dang it. Okay, well actually that lets us know, hmm, that we're gonna end up with a bunch of children from these two first thing so that'll be like the very first thing that we're going to do with this group is have a huge family so that's a new challenge for when we get the sims 4 going we can kind of get a good idea randomize like well like brother or something like that wow there's pretty diverse genetics going on here so that's what some of kitty's kittens might look like oh my gosh that's awesome my goodness. If we randomize twin, that might give us a little bit of a better idea. Yep. There's going to be a pretty diverse set of family members coming out of these two. So we'll have that to look forward to next time. Huh. I didn't know you couldn't have the kids in here. So I ha See, I have played so little with it. But that means that next month we will have Kitty and Kaz. And they will have their huge little flock of kittens. Their little family moving, grooving, and growing for Sims 4. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. Bye-bye.